Guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well today. We're in a lockdown again. Getting our hair cut is not easy. Actually, it's impossible. And I would like to think I can hopefully help you guys cut your own hair by following this tutorial. I'm actually gonna be using the Remington Color Cut Hair Clipper Kit. The reason why I went for this is I'm cheap. <laughs> I could totally word it as though I wanna be like really, really relatable things like I want to be really, really relatable to you guys, and the reason why I got this is it will hopefully fit all budgets. The reason why I went for it, it's easy to get, it's from Amazon, and now it is $18.99 for Amazon UK to get it delivered with Prime the next day. Down below will be my unique link if you are interested in getting it or anything else from Amazon. That will actually help support my channel. It costs you nothing, but it really does help me. Fingers crossed it's either really funny or really helpful haircut that is suitable for all of our Zoom calls, all of our house parties, for people even still do that, any of our quizzes, God forbid that starts again. And let's get onto it. Okay, I basically would section this bit off and all the way around, like a short to slightly longer fade. To keep everything today really simple is break up section by section. In the past, I have watched the Brad Mondo hair tutorial and um, where he cuts his hair. I do actually find it really handy. I struggle to follow all of it, but I just support and really like anything that he does shoot. I get a accurate as possible parting. I then hold down the hair that I don't want to cut short. So take your time with this step. This is step number one, it's totally chill. Have some music playing. You know, you will not be in the same case that I am, meaning you hopefully won't, well, you shouldn't be wearing a t-shirt because hair gets everywhere and it's a pain to get out. Make sure you have a little mirror in front of you and make sure you have a little mirror as well to show your back. And don't worry about doing like really, really, really perfect um, hair clipping. You know, don't know how you girls or guys do it. Oh, this needs to go. Both camera shots. This is like an insane camera. This one's all right. Colors are totally different. Prefer this one. Let me know as well what you guys think. Total different lenses, different camera, everything. So I'm already halfway through the step one, which is going to make my life so much easier. Around crown areas, if it gets a bit confusing, do the most minuscule sectioning like that. So basically just grabbing, again, it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. Like this. So step one, you are done. Relax, have a drink. Something sensible, you've got to have your A game with this. So step two, when it comes to trimming the sides, when I'm doing someone else's, I'll always start at the back and then I kind of work the way forward. It's easier to kind of balance these sides. However, when you are doing it yourself, it's a little harder. So for the rest of this tutorial, you're going to need some good scissors. It actually comes with some scissors already with it. That would do a good job. I wanted to splash out. These are around £20 alone, but they've cut my partner's hair and my hair since last May. A little bottle with water to do the last section, which is cutting the actual hair on the top, if you are wanting to do that. Now I'm gonna start with number four. If you've never used, this is basically controlling the guard. So if I pull the lever down, it basically allows for more space. So it's distancing it even further away from the blade. So say for example, if you had a number four, but you still wanted to get a little bit more in, what I would say is never have it always pull it all the way down. The reason being is then you've still got a bit of control even within that number to still make it a bit closer. So I hope that helps. See what I mean? It's really, really quiet. And it's always easier to start longer and then go shorter and shorter and shorter. This movement is gonna be all the way to the top of where I've sectioned and then away. Okay, so take your time. Hold the section in case you need it. So close to the hair and lift. So again, close to the hair all the way up and lift. So it's just taking like a... I'm 
I'm just going over it. Lift away. All the way up, lift away. All the way up, lift away. All the way up, lift away. Ow. Quite sharp, but it's not unbearable. So obviously with the slightly more um, inexpensive ones. And what I would always recommend is then doing the other side, then checking the back to see how kind of far you've got it out and then match the rest. Start on this side. To hold your ear down, lift away, tap away, lift up, out, up, out, push really close to the scalp, out. And what we basically want to do is kind of do like a, think of this, and I'll show you the best tip after later as well. And you can get quicker at this as well. You'll get more confident because you know basically what you're doing. You're leaving like a shelf all the way around near where your parting is. And then later I'm gonna show you how you can super, super easily just blend it in and you won't even notice that separation, which I think is the biggest thing that most people worry about when it comes to cutting their own hair at home. So maybe you can see. Close to the scalp, close to the scalp. Oh, I just clicked it. Back you go. Cheeky, trying to self-sabotage. And the faces you will be pulling, doing this at home, doing it, not watching, I hope, will be horrific, embarrassing. You know, we're talking like triple chins here for me. Nicki Minaj, Chin Lee. The new edit. And I mean it, you will get hair everywhere. I'm now done with number four. This literally sticks like hell to close. It's horrible to get rid of. All the way down again on number three instead of number four. And let's go really close here and just show the difference. So this time, I'm only going up to like here. Here's my tip if you're feeling a bit nervous. You can use this as a guide, knowing that you're not gonna go any higher than that. It can sometimes be a bit obstructing to fall clipper. So once you get more confident, you won't need it, but it is a good guide. So say for example, And I get it, this doesn't need to be perfect. I'm not a professional, I'm not trying to be out. But it just gives some sort of precision. And around the ears, I've actually got a separate ear clipper attachment with this. Ooh, I'm not doing this very well. So that's that bit. I'm then gonna follow around the hair. Obviously, if you're doing this on your own, this is harder, so you won't be able to use that comb as a guide. But just take it really easy. Just know that you're kind of going around three quarters of where you were before. Oh, I did that already. You can also, around the back, you can basically kind of Put your finger to where the line is that you've done. And then you'll know that you won't go any more above it. It is like here, you can feel a bit more weighty but that we can actually change with the scissors. So don't worry about that too much. For most of us, I would leave it here. Even if you're used to that kind of skin fade look, this isn't normal world. We're not gonna be a scene as usual. So don't worry. This is usually the stage that you can mess it up. I'm gonna do number three again, but halfway. 
So one, two, three from the bottom. And I'm just going to do right around the area for just a little under. A really good tip after this is you can then go back down to that number and go around again exactly to the areas that you did. This way you're kind of blurring the line that you've just made from a slightly shorter cut to a slightly even shorter cut and then you're going back over that. This is going to be as far away from the blade as possible so click this all the way down and let's just do kind of to the level where my where my brow is so I don't know what I'm doing I never did okay that's better I don't know why I didn't look in the mirror the whole first bit. You can tell I'm going Rosie and Jim, bit red. Right, this can happen. Number three again. All the way down. I'm gonna go over a bit that I looked at and I just thought, mm. And don't be worried as well to kind of go in and just tease it a bit. So if you know that the line is around there, you can kind of just wiggle it around that. All the way around. And I feel like that kind of slices into it and it looks really natural. So that is my tip, kind of get jiggy with it. I'm now gonna clean up right ear, left ear, attachment works. Very easy. And does that look good? We're gonna live and learn, guys. Do not have that as close to the blade at all. What I've done is I've kind of done it too short here, and then it looked a bit gappy here, and then I've gone all Johnny Big Schnollocks and I've tried to trim this bit and now it looks like I'm missing a bit of hair. It's in lockdown and depending on who you're with, no one's going to be seeing the back of your head anyway. Just use the corner to draw around it. And what can help sometimes is going from the back to the front and kind of following, it's kind of going against the hair and it's easier to cut. So I hold it down And don't worry, I don't think you can cut. No, you can't cut this way. Done. Depending how you have your sideburns or whatever, leave it like that. Also, if my innuendos ever offend, I can't help it. I keep teeing myself up for these absolute corkers. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Cool, let's get right onto it. So this is the final section. So step one is sectioning. Step two is going all around. Step three is the tidy up, let's say. This is step four. These are the scissors that come with it. So they're totally fine. Coat every bit of hair. So what I like to do is, depending on how you style your hair, usually have a really defined parting push everything to the side. I like to volume it up because I do have thinner, finer hair. So if you are interested in that, I have actually recently posted a video of how I do my blow dry, which is super easy for all guys and women to do with short hair or however you identify. I leave these kind of parsley shelf bits 
exposed. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect the hair first so it's just out, it's just over and done with. Again, you've got to be quite ambidextrous or just really, really, really take your time. So we want to cut the hair at like 45 degree angle cuts. The reason being is we want to kind of cinch in the bottom bit, but we want the top bit to look really nice and natural and connect with the upper sections of the hair. Section it. And look, I'm cutting it like outwards. Done. Okay, move behind it. Get another bit. Cut an angle. It can be a bit awkward, so you kind of have to like cinch into this bit, but just try, if it's not perfect, again, don't worry, but you basically don't want to go this way or flat. Flat wouldn't look awful, but to make it really natural, you kind of just want to cut it like that. So I'm just slowly, 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 just chipping away at it. And then now look, when I get, when I get these sections, they're already sloped with this side. If you're struggling to get the hair, you can, of course, use your uh, comb as a guide and cut down. This can be very tricky, but just take your time. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect, but as long as you're kind of following this rule, that you're doing snips down like this, longer areas on the top, shorter, nearer the side of the hair. I hope you can see how that kind of blends. Here, what I would suggest is turning a lot so you can kind of see and just try and do your best. What we've done already will be neat enough that I wouldn't worry too much about the back. A cleaner, flatter line will actually match more of what's happening in this mid to top section. So I can get away with not doing that bit, same style as the sides. This area even more. I have been known to kind of like trap my ear in this. Meaning I try and get really, really, really close. So I'm actually not, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just enjoy this bit. If you were really nervous, naturally you kind of get like cold sweats doing this. This is our hair at the end of the day. You know, we, we want to do it well. You know, we want to look smart. You can section your hair in any way that you like. I just do a super simple back to front. I told you my hair is thick. Brush like this, which can help the sectioning. That is quite useful, to be honest, but just a bit of time and patience, you're fine. And sometimes if you find that you go like that and the hair wants to fold over and it's hard to do it, go like that. Push the top finger down to kind of bend it the other way. Okay. And chop. That tip is really handy, actually, for just twisting your fingers a teeny bit just to keep this, the hair until I'm used to talking about skin nice and taut. I look like Benny Drama with the... This last bit, because I wear my hair more this way, I then kind of angle the sectioning to go more this direction. So I I basically just grab sections up around the front because this is where I want my hair to be the longest. I grab sections up and I just make it to be the similar length to the other hairs that I've just cut. And in a way, to be honest, using that as a guide. Where are any kind of strays poking out? What doesn't look right? What needs a little trim trim? You can do this to tidy up the edges. Grab it to here, cut this nice and short. It makes all the difference when it comes to sectioning. 
because it just falls naturally. If you really, really, really want to perfect it, I was horrible like this, but I'm doing it for you guys. Cut at an angle. And this is when it helps having sharp, good quality, any color scissors. Right, so what the hell do you guys think? And remember, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a little thumbs up, comment, whatever down below. But most importantly, if you think this would benefit anybody, whether it's a relative, your partner, a friend, a housemate, anyone, uh, please feel free to share it. You can share the link. It will also be featured on my Instagram in the bio. All links will be down below. I will see you guys soon. Bye.